Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to episode 31 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Hey everyone and welcome. Today we will be reacting to episode 31 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. But before I jump into it, I just want to say that our links below to the original content creator, Little Kuribo, and to the original video. So go subscribe to Little Kuribo and watch the video originally first and give it a like. Because they're the ones that created this amazing content. I'm just doing my reaction, but if you like my reaction by the end of this, uh, let me know by giving the video a like, leaving a comment in the comment section below, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos. So, I am hyped, and I'm super excited, and I can't wait to check this episode out. Uh, it kills me literally every week, the fact that I, have, that I wait just to watch the next episode, but I love doing this reaction series to Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. Like, literally, it's amazing, and uh, it's just, I'm not used to it yet, you know what I'm saying? reacting to a show and it happened to wait uh, but it really does it's a good thing also at the same time because if I was watching this normally I would have just finished it and then I wouldn't have had to look forward to every week this is something that I look forward to every week recording my reaction to episode uh, to Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge in general so everyone that watches this a big thank you so I'm happy if you're happy that you're enjoying this series I don't know what I'm saying uh, but yeah let's jump into the episode shall we let's go and now for something completely different. <laughs> card games. My wow, Valentine, that's completely different. Get four locator cards? How does she already you have them? With Kaiba or something? Is it so hard to <laughs> if you can hear rain, I do apologize. It is raining out right now. <laughs> get your Kaiba loving boobies out of my face. <laughs> Kaiba loving boobies. So. I'll tell you what time it is, you fool. Time for you oh, to shit. Your oh, because I Slifer, he, the mime has Slifer. Ishtar have taken control of the most evil Steve in all of Stevedom. Steve the Mime. With his help, <laughs> I shall defeat you and then conquer the world. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a bird. Isn't it just the cutest little guy? I mean, no. In my new world, all birds shall be <laughs> enslaved, especially this one. And he shall be named Mr. Tweetums, for it is very evil. <laughs> now be gone, Mr. Tweetums. I am trying to stalk my nemesis. <laughs> do 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 do. do I don't know what I'm saying. Yu Gi Oh! The Bridge Series. <laughs> Hey, it's Jonochi. Me? Jonochi chan, hmm? I'm your biggest fan. Can I have your autograph? Joey Sorry, has a fan. I think you got me confused with someone else. <laughs> nope, you're Jonochi chan. Your best friend is Honda kun. I'm a fanboy, so I don't like to watch the dubbed episodes. Come in aside. <laughs> hey, this kid ain't making any sense. Maybe if I sign his deal, he'll leave me alone. Or at least stop <laughs> using all those crazy words. Ta-da! See? I signed it, Joey Wheeler. But your name is Jonochi. No, it's Joey Wheeler. Can I I glomp you. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, here, I'll let you hold my dual disc if you promise not to touch me. Sukhoi. What? Jonochi-chan is kawaii. Arigato. Yeah, arigato <laughs> back at you, pal. Just remember. Is he really gonna run away? Why would Joey like give woman. it to him? You fasten it to your arm and place trading cards inside it at regular intervals. And another thing. Come in outside, Jonochi-chan. <laughs> fucking fanboys. Why are we randomly hanging out together? Hey, look. <laughs> that kid must have stolen Joey's dual disc. This he looks like to him, though. For ineffectual minor character man. Nice job, Tristan. <laughs> Be careful, he's a fanboy. Want me to break his neck? <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Jonochi. I just got so sick of writing horrible fan fiction, so I wanted to find other ways to ruin my favorite show for everybody else. Come in aside. He keeps talking in that crazy alien <laughs> language. Let's alien language. Yeah, I still don't get why you tried to steal my dual disc. It wasn't my idea. Somebody else put me up to it. Short, had blue hair, and wore glasses. Millhouse? <laughs> I implicitly believe you, thieving child. <clears throat> so, like, did it work? Yeah, I put the yeah. card in Jonochi's deck just like you told me to. Cool. <clears throat> now I can, like, do something. Or something. What about the rare card you promised me? Oh, yeah. Um, here you go. But I can't even see what this card is. That's because I gave you the uncensored version of Enchanting Mermaid. <clears throat> you can totally see her boobs. <laughs> hey, check this out. <clears throat> Loogie gun. <laughs> what? Did he kill him? <laughs> <laughs> 
Dr. Styles, please report to the infirmary. Dr. Styles. What's wrong, Nurse Cameltoe? Sorry to oh my you, God. Sandy, but if you happen to see a little boy, please let us know. He's recently recovered from a seizure after watching an episode of Pokemon. And now he's <laughs> convinced he's Ash Ketchum. He keeps calling me Nurse Joy. It's quite <laughs> annoying. Didn't we already make a gazillion Pokemon <laughs> references? Yes, but this one is actually relevant. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go practice being unsympathetic towards... That's the Terry get when he gets hit with light and then he goes into a coma. Oh my god. <laughs> an inexplicable attraction to Jennifer Garner. Hey, what's that noise? Hey, I'm Ash Ketchum, Pokemon trainer. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> I'm gonna be the best Pokemon trainer the world has ever seen. I don't care. Are you Misty? No, I'm not Misty. <laughs> Come on, Pikachu. We gotta... Beat Team Rocket. Okay, where the hell is the panic button? <laughs> Evil Underwood. So it was. Man, that's amazing. That the music and everything. Dual disc for no apparent reason. Dad gives me rage of the Brooklyn variety. <laughs> yeah. Brooklyn <laughs> rage. Stuff. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. What are you talking about? Yugi was the one who beat you in season one. What's your oh, yeah. <laughs> lovable old Joey Wheeler? Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even think we've met before. But like, apparently, I hate your guts. <laughs> now let's play a children's card game and stuff. Because he's friends with Yugi, I guess. Check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna summon my rarest monster, the perfectly ultimate great moth. Perfectly ultimate great moth. <laughs> That's one of the most powerful cards in all of Duel Monsters. Oh yeah. Well, I summoned the Swordsman of Landstar. Oh, the Swordsman of Landstar. That's one of the most powerful cards in all of Duel Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> you activated my trap, but much. Now all your monsters will be forced to dance uncontrollably to crappy Japanese pop music. I beg to differ. I summon Jinzo. Jinzo, he's got it. The effects of your internet cliche. So like, I, I use that kid to sneak a parasite card into your deck, forcing all your monsters to become insect types. <laughs> it's like something out of David Cronenberg's <laughs> remake of The Fly, except it isn't happening to Jeff Goldblum, so it's less repulsive. Jeff Goldblum? He's one of the most powerful cards in all of Duel Monsters. I thought Kaiba said this tournament was gonna <laughs> adhere to the rules. Weevil should be disqualified right now. Face it, Joe. Where I is Mokemon? George Lucas hates Star Wars. He's probably just laughing at you right now. <laughs> George Lucas don't own no Star Wars no more. <laughs> Insect Queen, that's one of the most powerful. Oh, for God's sake. Well, it is. So, is my brother winning or. Come on, Misty, we have to get to Viridian City. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm recovering from the operation that I didn't have. You're funny, Misty. Hey, remember the time you got freaked out by those bug Pokemon? No. You were all like. Ah, those are bug Pokemon. I do not like them. Hello? <laughs> yeah, Misty? The doctor told me you have cancer. Oh, is that some sort of new Pokemon that can't be found in the Johto region? No, it's cancer. Ew, his insect queen's eating my monsters. That got dark. And it turned them into smooths. No, not smooths. Wow. Nothing can stop <laughs> okay. the smooths. Now I'm going to destroy she miss your mighty insect queen with a magical can of bug spray. Seriously. That's how I defeat you. Clearly, this is a victory for the record books. Let that be a lesson <laughs> to you, oh Weebo. Minor characters from Season 1 stand absolutely no chance in this tournament. That's why I'm gonna take you out, one at a time. <laughs> Cause I'm Joey Wheeler, card game warrior. Would you like to see my bunghorn? Okay, Tristan, now you can break his neck. <laughs> yeah, I can break necks with my mind. <laughs> Yugi oh the bridge series. Jeff Goldblum. Gold Goldblum. Yeah. Must go faster, so it says. He's the best, one of the best cards in the game, so. <laughs> Show that Pokemon. If you enjoyed all the unfunny Pokemon references in this episode, then you'll just love Pokemon X. God, I hate shameless plugs. <laughs> Well, everyone, that was my reaction to episode 31 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Uh, this was a great episode. Uh, watching Joey actually get some... Well, I was going to say revenge, but like Weevil said, they never actually dueled or had any sort of interaction where it's like, why do you hate me? But it was nice seeing him kick ass like and beat Weevil in a, like, in a duel. It's like, shows how much this character has come. You know, in the first season, he's only really learning, and he gets very far. He gets uh, like the actual finals, well, not the finals, but you know, semi-finals or something like that. Loses to Yugi, and now you get to see him duel people that Yugi duel in season one and struggled with at the time. 
and then Joey's like even though we struggled in this a little bit because Weevil did cheat the little prick <laughs> so sneaking that little bug monster into his deck uh, Joey won so props to Joey I really like the whole Ash Catchum stuff that's going on catch him catch him whatever way you want to say it Ash from Pokemon being this kid waking up from a coma I think it is hilarious and it, I don't know con the Joey's sister Misty and stuff it's just this is a really good way to do all these scenes with uh, Joey's sister because from what I remember in the original show uh, she does be watching like that kid does be watching the duels on the computer and letting her know what's happening uh, so to make those scenes more interesting this whole Ash and Misty thing is hilarious and I'm really happy with it and I just can't wait to see what's going to happen next uh, if you like this reaction, be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section below. If there is anything you would like me to react to, or if there is anything you would like to see on this channel, uh, let me know all that in the comments below. And like I said at the start, there are links below to the original content creator little video and to the original video in the description box below. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone, if you've made it this far, that means you've made it to the end of the video. And I just want to say thank you all for watching. And remember, if you enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up button and click any of the video links that are displayed now if you want to see more content from me. Have a great day.